Another fresh-faced gnat to oust a long-standing government MP on Saturday night was Nikki Kay. She won Auckland Central from veteran MP Judith Tizzo by more than 1,000 votes. But due to uh, majority last time around was about 3,500, a hell of a big swing. The 28-year-old Aucklander is only just coming to grips with her victory. It's the first time a national MP has won that seat. Not a bad effort. So who is this ambitious newcomer and what does she stand for? Amanda Gillies spent the afternoon with her yesterday to find out. What are you going to do tonight? Uh, sleep. <laughs> I think that's what I need to do. It's been a, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty long campaign. Yeah. It's 4pm Sunday afternoon. Nikki Kay is shattered. She's barely slept since Friday night. But that smile hasn't faded. Pretty happy actually, yeah. But, uh, you know, I think it's, I'm pre feeling pretty humble as well. This 28-year-old came out of nowhere and won Auckland Central, a first for National. In the process, she ousted long-time electorate MP Judith Tizard by more than a thousand votes. Um, you know, and, and until they endorse another candidate. Yeah, it's a bit desperate, dear. No, no. Look, at the end of the day, <laughs> Judith is a formidable opponent, and my heart goes out to her today. You are only 28. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much a baby in politics, really. What made you want to stand so early? Uh, well, I have been involved in politics for about 10 years, even though I've been overseas and I've worked in uh, both public and private sectors and I'm a director of my own company. Uh, for a long time I've had that belief that I, I think I would uh, I have a lot to contribute. So at some point you have to put your hand up and, um, and I thought this was the time to put my hand up. Congratulations, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you. Kay wasn't raised in a political family, quite the opposite. But when she was just a teenager, she decided to attend a Young Nationals meeting and was immediately elected a woman's vice chair. She says, quite simply, that's because she was the only woman in the room. Now, you were only a teenager. Why the National Party? Uh, basically because I believe in equality of opportunity, not equality of outcome. And what that means to me is that if you work hard, you should be able to get ahead in New Zealand. And hard work is something she doesn't mind. She already has a science degree and is about to finish her degree in law. She owns her online business, which helps identify personnel for charities and corporates. As well, this year she completed the Coast to Coast. Yes, she cycled 140 kilometres, ran 36 kilometres and kayaked 67 kilometres across the South Island and with injury. You're a bit of an overachiever, aren't you? Uh, I wouldn't. I, I, I think I've always worked hard and, and uh, you know, just always worked hard. Now, you did the coast to coast this year. That's How right. How was that? Uh, it was pretty gruelling. I mean, I got injured uh, during it, but uh, I just kept going and, and finished it. It's an amazing race, and just um, and it's a bit like this race, you know, just some amazing people come together to make that race happen, and that's what happened here. It's the people, she says, who drive her. Yeah, and I just got elected for the central, so. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. So She's happy to stop and chat with anyone, and during her campaign, she went door to door, knocking on hundreds of them, letting people know who she was, what she stood for. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. You actually were the only candidate to knock on my door during the campaign. Was that a crucial part, do you think, getting out there? Getting Knocking on your door? Or? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, it, was, it was a crucial part of the campaign, absolutely. I think um, you know, there's, there's just no substitute for actually meeting people and talking to them about their issues. So what issues will she focus on over the next three years? I'm going to have a focus in terms of small business, being a voice for the small businesses in Auckland Central. There's a large number of them. Also, I have a passion for the environment, and I really want to see us uh, doing more in terms of protecting the Haraki Gulf. So, and despite her youth, she's unfazed about having to tough it out with the more experienced players. I mean, I've been through quite a tough campaign, and uh, I think it's hardened me up a little bit. Uh, and also, I worked at Parliament, so I have no delusions of grandeur about the place in that sense. Uh, but no, I mean, I, I'm a pretty tough cookie. I'm sure I'll be all right.